Consider the word, the concept, the idea of absolute, sure, certain. And think about how it would feel to be certain that your life is good or going to be good or certain that a large amount of money is going to come into your experience or certain that you have a body that is intelligent and will keep up with your desire for a long healthy life for just a minute think about how good it would feel to have that certainty to have that knowing you with us so now be a little human and turn on television just for five minutes a cable news channel <laughs> and just listen to the commercial about this going wrong with your body and this going wrong with your body and this going wrong with your body and these things you need to watch out for and these pirates on the internet and these people that are going to steal your identity and these people that are going to rip you off for this and this thing that is going wrong and this disaster that you're lucky that you're even alive for and this thing that's going on and just watch television for a minute and see if that certainty gets watered down a little bit felt pretty good until I listened to something so now stay with us for a little bit so now that certainty about your well-being now feels like a probability maybe or a possibility maybe but now it's active in your vibration now it's active in your bag of marbles and so the television isn't on anymore but you're thinking about it and it's active in your point of attraction and so now as you look around your world you see someone limping hard and somebody is coughing really loud in the grocery store and you see gimpy people all around you in various degrees of disintegration <laughs> and it validates what you just heard and now you're sense of certainty about your financial and physical well-being has eroded it's been watered down it's been mixed with other vibrations and so that certainty that probability is barely hanging on for dear life as a possibility but mostly it doesn't look possible to move through life safely and then you go to church <laughs> and they explain to you that life is hard and that sacrifice is important and that feeling bad is normal in fact it's honored and then they sing a really sad song <laughs> about sacrifice and now you're not certain at all that you deserve what you've been asking for in fact you're pretty sure you don't deserve it and then you go to sleep and you wake up for another day but we know we were a little silly accurate and we know that we were extreme accurate and we know that you got the point that you can observe and hold your own or you can observe and go along and whether you observe and hold your own or whether you observe and go along has to do with how long you've been standing where you're standing and feeling what you're feeling you have to practice your way now let's start at the other end of this let's say you are discouraged let's say you feel really defeated let's say that most things aren't going the way you want them to and so you are sort of on the impossible end of this scenario that we are talking about but you heard a little bit from us and when we say to you that your inner being knows you and is with you that resonated with you and so you get the idea that your inner being exists and you've had ups and downs in your emotions and you know that it's about focus and so you say something to yourself like well I can focus myself into a better feeling and that thought feels good to you and for a moment it feels really good to you and you feel strong and then because you've been wise enough to play this game while you're by yourself where there's no one else that's interacting with you the television isn't on then you decide that you're going to play the pointing game where you point from where you are in the direction of what feels better and better and so you make statements that feel better and better 
And the law of attraction helps you find memories that match them up or lines you up with things in your now. Someone is really nice to you. Someone waves at you. Somebody gives you a thumbs up. Somebody compliments you on your beautiful, bright, green clothing. In other words, something happens to you that is a manifestation that supports the vibration that you accomplished through the thought that you thought. The inward thought that you thought. That inward thought that you thought that you barely speak out loud but you're thinking it without contradicting it and it is getting stronger and as the momentum of that stronger thought happens as the momentum becomes more and more and more then another and another and another and another idea flows into your mind if you'll give it a minute to do so and usually this doesn't happen all in one setting but if you understand if we have inspired within you if we have activated within you the logic a thought that feels good being easy to water down to feel terrible and the logic of a thought that feels terrible being focused into a thought that feels better then you are now empowered to focus yourself into alignment with your source energy and you know what happens when you do that you are powerful you have the energy that creates worlds pouring through your fingertips you can point at anything you can be or do or have anything it doesn't happen all at once you don't want it to happen all at once you just want to feel a little better and a little better and a little stronger and a little sure a little more resilient and a little stronger and a little sure and a little better and a little happier and a little sure and a little happier until what happens to you is you sit down next to someone and you have the most delightful conversation that you've ever had in your life because you've met somebody else that's on the end of the vibrational stick where you are and together your marbles are matching up and you're having a really good time and you say this manifestation matches my intentions which leads us to the most powerful thing that you're ever going to hear from us are you full of opinions that contradict your desire or are you an intender that points right at your desire because that is a simple difference in everything that we've talked about here if you heard what we said there's no reason that as soon as now you'll see evidence today of universal forces lining up to gather cooperative components for you because this is how it works every time does that feel better <laughs> Does that feel better? All right. So, so we felt your vibration shift. You're not in the same place that you were when you sat down. You heard us. You understood it. There's nothing about it that's not logical. The law of attraction is accommodating you because your vibration is in an entirely different place than it was before. So what would you like to say as you point an arrow towards something? Just make a declarative statement. I intend what? I intend what? To have great leading edge conversations. Well, you just had one, didn't you? In fact, you led it. You led it with your asking. Not only do you have them, you inspire them. What else? To... To know when I'm having one and to know when I'm not. In other words, to know when it's a leading edge conversation. To know when it's something that's adding to what I want. And to know when it's something that's taking away so that I can pivot precisely. What else? We're willing to keep reading your mind and telling them what you're thinking, but we would really like it if it came out of your mouth. <laughs> Do you believe what we just said? Mm -hmm. So why are you holding back on making statements of intent? It's like, all right. <laughs> you represent a lot of people in the world and some even in this room and this is the only box of Kleenex we've got <laughs> where were you today I went to Boston what'd you do I got in front of hundreds of people and cried <laughs> were they nice they were really nice did they understand I think they did did you have a leading that conversation yes and no so that's why I asked about the 
the inner monologue because when I'm asked a question, <laughs> because why? I just clam up or I cry. Yeah. So far. <laughs> You also inspired the best conversation that we've ever offered about how universal forces work. You also inspired the best conversation that we've ever had about clarifying an intention and pointing in a direction. When you ask, things line up for you. We're just wanting to demonstrate with you that even with all of this concern within you, you got picked out of a room of a few several hundred people. I did, I did intend that. Really? And when you, when you, well, that's, no. that's what's going on in my head is like, I could tell you what I intended before, but that's past. You were asked whether I'm intending now and I get, I get tripped up. Um, so yes, <laughs> right before you called me, I was saying to myself, absolutely. And that's what you called the game. You said absolutely and certainly. That just, for no reason. I was so you can that connect word. those dots, can't mm -hmm. you? And so yeah. you were ready for this conversation and a whole lot of other people were too. And you're all standing in your own readiness for your own point of traction. But you can get readier and readier and you can tell that you're ready by how you feel about us. In other words, you feel a lot better right now than you did when you sat down. You felt a lot better before you stood up than you did when you stood up too. In other words, we get how that is. But... Your inner being is on your side and the universal forces are too. And you don't have to explain nothing to nobody. And we appreciate your willingness to let us play with you because you're not the only one who can't put words to what you feel. And we are not the least bit unhappy about you not being able to verbalize because if you can feel, you can tell what direction you're pointing. And most people do most of their talking anyway to try to talk other people into understanding where they're coming from. And you, dear heart, gave that up a long time ago. Nobody in your close circle really gets where you're coming from. And it's really not their job to get where you're coming from. Your inner being knows exactly where you're coming from, you see. So you can be as silent as you want to be or as vocal as you want to be. Just be aware. So what was the last thing you said to us? Give us the sort of summation of what just happened to everyone in this room, but especially to you and because of you. What just happened? What just happened? I came into a greater awareness. Yeah, you came into a greater awareness of yourself, of who you are. What emotion describes that? At first, it's relief. It's relief. When you let go of something that doesn't feel good, relief is what takes its place. But then, we're just going to have another short conversation. Hang in there. This will be worth it. We talk a lot about the path of least resistance. We also talk about the path of most allowance. Well, when you don't feel good, you're looking for less and less resistance. When you feel good, you're looking for more and more allowance. Does that make sense? It's just that simple. So don't look for more and more allowance when you're still feeling bad. Look for relief. But once you're feeling pretty good, then look for more clarity and more fun. Does that make sense mm -hmm. to you? So we think you did really good. They do too. We're appreciating the conversation. Thank you. For this. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe.